Closed captioning is brought to you by IT&E Life in Motion. KUAM News Headlines is presented by Calvo's Insurance, a legacy of trust. Serving Micronesia since 1938. Matson Navigation, serving Guam and Micronesia for 20 years. Cars Plus, Dodge Challenger, the undisputed champion. IP&E, fueling excellence. McDonald's of Guam, I'm loving it. And King's Restaurant, located in Tamuning and Dededo. Always open, always local. Ahead on primetime, students at the home of the Sharks grow tired of waiting for their school to be fixed. Plus, the feds carry out an undercover sting online, leading them to a Navy contractor who tried to meet up with a team for sex. And the state of public education address gets underway at Ukudu High. Off today, good evening. Students at Simon Sanchez High School are tired. They want their school to be rebuilt now. During a public hearing on yet another bill to jumpstart renovations, the school community said enough is enough. Carmen Terlahi reports. It was well after school hours when these sharks raised their voices in a public hearing held Tuesday in their cafeteria. I'm tired of using these poorly maintained restrooms, always walking into the smell of urine and feces, and I'm tired of feeling unsafe. Testimony after testimony, students expressed their frustration with empty promises. It's been four years since public law was enacted providing funding to rebuild Simon Sanchez High School. There are holes on the wall, there are cracks on the walls of the building, some toilets in the restroom are broken and cannot be used by the students. Roofs are leaking when it's raining and there are more broken things than there are new things. When it rains after school, you're lucky if you can even stick your hand under the small bus loading area for shelter. At least you get to rinse off the fear of not standing under a ceiling so old ready to go into a coma. Then they tell me things like, is your school built yet? or tell you you come from a ghetto school, your school is so ugly and ghetto looking. While students explain what they have to go through every day, Senator Sinicholas questioned whether they even read the bill and understood the consequences. While Senator Tom Atta says the bill could cause even further delays. Everyone's coming up and they're saying that they're supporting Bill 204 and they're talking about what's wrong with the school. And uh, I acknowledge what's wrong with the school, but um, is everyone familiar with exactly what Bill 204 is going to do. And if we take away all that due process, I'm afraid that we might end up in court and slow the process even, even more. Bill 204 is the latest in a string of bills and laws enacted to move renovations forward. But multiple protests and appeals by Cortec International have continued to delay dirt from turning and concrete from being poured. Even on this latest bill, Cortec believes it will delay the process even further. It's clear, however, the school community is fed up with the lip service. So you know what the issues are, but we have to live this stuff every day. So if this doesn't get solved, gentlemen, it's going to come again. We're going to take a knee again. We'll probably even lie down this time. Until this is done, because this is more than just money and contracts and procurement, this is their future, guys. Not to offend our current legislature on Guam, but this must seem to be their priority to care for the safety and education of students in the public school system. If they did, then this issue would have been resolved by now. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Carmen Victoria Terlahi. We should note the Jigo campus has been shut down multiple times over the years following public health inspections. Bill 204 was introduced by Senator Frank Uggen Jr. This next report should be a reminder for all parents to talk to their children about the dangers of the World Wide Web. Fortunately, the person posing as a teen girl in this report was actually a federal agent. She'd meet a man online who wanted to meet in person, but not before sharing multiple nude photos and videos of himself. He allegedly sent nude photos to a federal agent posing as a 13-year-old girl. Filings in the District Court of Guam show the feds recently executed a search warrant on a hotel room at the Sheraton Laguna Resort and Spa in Timuning. That's where authorities seized an external hard drive, a laptop, and a tablet. The room was occupied by Michael Lewis McCarran, a former active duty Navy member and current Department of Defense Navy contractor. According to court documents, McCarran first made contact with the undercover agent posing as Brit back in October via a Craigslist ad. He responded that he had base access and that he could drive. He also included a photo of his exposed erect penis. When asked about her age, Brit responded, quote, 13, is that okay? End quote. He initially responded, 
quote, no thank you, I am good, have a good night, end quote. But two hours later, he changed his mind and messaged the girl. A back and forth continued for close to a month. While he sent multiple nude photos and video of himself, the federal agent posing as Brit sent a photo of a fully clothed adult female who appeared to look like a minor. Authorities were able to trace McCarran using the personal information he provided to Brit, such as his age, his middle and last name, and his affiliation with the military. Though filings don't indicate an arrest was made, court documents state there is probable cause to believe McCarran used his personal electronic devices to transfer obscene material to a minor. The documents appear to have been initially placed under seal, but were made public this week. In a similar case in the District Court of Guam, another man is indicted by a federal grand jury for attempted enticement of a minor and transfer of obscenity to a minor. From October to November 2017, Wilfredo Lee Lopez is alleged to have sent two images and a video of an adult male exposing his privates to a girl he believed to be 13 years old. Lopez will make his first court appearance Friday morning. A disturbing case up in Dededo, an 18-year-old woman with Down syndrome reportedly raped in her own home. According to court documents, the incident occurred on Tuesday. Another family member reportedly walked in on the intruder having sex with the victim. 32-year-old Manson Isar was arrested and charged with home invasion and first-degree criminal sexual conduct, both as first-degree felonies. Court documents state he entered the home believing his friend lived there. When he asked the girl to have sex, he stated she did not respond but felt she wanted to have sex so brought her into the bedroom. He reportedly apologized to police admitting to knowing the woman had a disability. A pastor alleged to have kissed, touched and sent private messages to a 14-year-old girl from his church will head to trial next summer. 57-year-old Renato Capilli Bosi appeared in court this week. Bosi faces multiple criminal sexual conduct and child abuse charges. Though the alleged abuse occurred last year, the girl reportedly didn't tell mom and dad in fear for their health. Among his messages to the girl, he reportedly told her, quote, pastors get tempted too. Though court documents state Bosi is from Lighthouse Baptist Church, KUM has since confirmed he is from Living Lighthouse Church. Trial is set for July 2018. His next court appearance, meanwhile, is set for January 16th. He's alleged to have inappropriately touched a 10-year-old girl known to him at least 50 times. Over a five-month period, 35-year-old Ryan Joseph Marciano is charged with three counts of cr second-degree criminal sexual conduct, two counts of family violence, strangulation, and child abuse. Court documents state the suspect allegedly beat the child's mother multiple times in one incident, putting the victim in a rear naked choke. The woman told police he was angry for no apparent reason. Documents state the suspect allegedly touched the child on her genital area and chest. The alleged incident happening sometime between April and September of this year. Keeping with crime news, 78-year-old Generoso Depamelo was arrested and charged with third-degree criminal sexual conduct. The alleged victim, a 19-year-old girl, told police she was sleeping when she felt someone touching her genital area. The victim's father confronted the suspect, who reportedly admitted to the sexual assault. A Chalampago neighborhood is on alert tonight after a rash of burglaries and car thefts early Tuesday. Fortunately, one resident's security cameras caught the suspect in the act. The images show a man walking from a car to uh, from car to car trying to open the doors. This all happening just before 4 a.m. yesterday on Taui Road in Chalampago. Another neighbor on that street reported their car was broken into. The suspect getting away with money, a laptop, and other items. Police later found one of the stolen items inside a parked car in Jutnya. The car was apparently stolen as well. If you recognize the man in this photo, you are asked to call Guam Crime Stoppers at 477-HELP. Well, stick around for more news here on Primetime. You're watching KUAM. There are more ways to experience KUAM news than any other source on Guam. Download the KUAM news app for your Apple or Android device for 24-7 news, sports, videos, weather, streaming, KUAM radio, and important news alerts. And stay connected at home with Guam's first app for Apple TV. All available now from the App Store. Calvo Select Care's medical provider network offers choice and access to quality facilities locally, nationally, and internationally. Federal employees and annuitants enroll today. 
2017 is rapidly coming to an end. And the big finish is on now. At Cars Plus in Mighty, get big year-end savings on a big selection of new 2017 Ram trucks, Jeep Wranglers, Dodge Challengers, and all Fiat models. Plus, buy from Cars Plus today and receive a Cars Plus value card where you get 21 cents off per gallon at all Shell stations. Big savings and 21 cents off per gallon with a Cars Plus value card when you buy during a big finish at Cars Plus in Mighty. Cars Plus, driven by you. Be merry, be bright, and make shopping all right with holiday gift cards from Chuck E. Cheese's Guam, Ruby Tuesday, and King's Restaurants. Receive special offers with every purchase for extra holiday happiness. See stores for details and have fun this season from all of us at the GFS Group. Connect with KUAM News. Find us on your favorite social media platform. Follow us and stay in the know with Guam's news leader. It's his first address since being allowed to return back as the head of the Guam Department of Education. Superintendent John Fernandez is giving his state of public education address this very hour. The headliner creating a generation of students who are resilient, resourceful, and ready for their future. Earlier today, we spoke with DOE leadership about efforts underway to help keep students in the classroom. How will the island's public school system help the students? That's a question GDOE Superintendent John Fernandez is answering during his State of Public Education address Wednesday evening. Among the topics he will present, the graduation rate being up at 82% this past school year compared to the 79% recorded in 2016. Deputy Superintendent Joe Sanchez says the focus has been to help students just entering life. high school. So one of the first things we try to do is really make it clear that our goal is to try and keep as many students as possible in school, get them to graduate, and to make sure that when they do graduate, they're ready for either college or a career of their, their choice. In 2011, only 69% of their students were making it to graduation. So some of the schools, for example, like Southern High School and, and George Washington High School, uh, have the Johns Hopkins program, which has a particular format for how to run their freshman academy, where they have preparatory courses that they take before they take their math classes, before they take their English classes, before they take their social studies classes. And that has resulted in a larger percentage of students who actually pass their classes in ninth grade. Also noted is the downward trend in dropout rates over the past four years, dropping from 2.8% last year to 2.4% in 2017. GDOE officials saying they have been aggressive in implementing programs and interventions designed to keep kids in school and enable those who have fallen behind to catch up. What we found over the years is we have, we have a growing number of students who are homeless, who don't have a consistent place to stay. We know that there are students who live in environments where there's drugs that, that make, it, make it difficult for them to have a stable life. Uh, we know that a lot of them live in poverty, so transportation becomes an issue, housing becomes an issue you know, uh, making sure that they, they're uniform, they're clean. So there's a whole variety of challenges that these students have that we're finding, you know, in order for us to help them, we're going to have to try to provide additional support. Additional support for all the schools and their 30,000 students. Again, the State of Education Address is, un is underway at Ukudu High. Our Carmen Salahi will have a full report on that during primetime Thursday. It's been more than three years since voters passed a medicinal marijuana law, but there are still no regulations in place to allow businesses to start selling. Well, Health Care Committee Chair De Senator Dennis Rodriguez Jr. is trying to jumpstart the process, holding a hearing Tuesday night on a new bill he hopes will finally do the job. Nestor Lacanto reports. It was public health that was given the lead in putting the rules and regs together, but it was lawmakers themselves that shot down their attempt. Now, Rodriguez has come up with a new bill that he says will address the stumbling blocks of the past. All of that now is behind us, and we've, we've tried um, as much as possible uh, to work with them um, to, to get everyone involved in this process. He says they will draw on the input and lessons learned in pushing through the new bill. One major change is to allow sales to foreigners who would provide the scale Guam lacks to make the industry more viable. If there's that possibility that we open it up and increase the, the patients by, um, by servicing um, non-residents, 
then that's going to translate into um, easier access for, for our own people here to, to get access to this that are affordable. Expanding into marijuana tourism addresses just one of a number of lingering concerns, but Rodriguez is confident they can be addressed and fairly quickly. He's embarked on an aggressive timeline to have the bill passed by the end of the year. If we have a session uh, for that, then um, um, I know that um, by next year the program could, could be moving along. A markup hearing is scheduled for Thursday, followed soon after by a second public hearing. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lacanto. Some relief in sight for chronic low water woes in Mount Santa Rosa and Jigo. GWA General Manager Miguel Berdalio appeared before senators in an oversight hearing and explained what they've been doing to resolve the problems faced by the long-suffering residents in that high elevation area. Service. Essentially, between Jigo and Mount Santa Rosa, uh, there are several areas which are commingled and are served by multiple sources. The pressure zone realignment will isolate the zones so that we have some sources that are um, matched to Jigo's elevations and some and so, uh, sources that are matched to Mount Santa Rosa's elevations. Therefore, we get more stable pressure, better supply, and better storage. Dozens of residents in the area endured weeks of no water or very low water pressure last month after a well went down and GW had to wait for parts to repair it. Water tankers were brought in as a temporary source, but it was not the only time the Jigo neighborhood was hit by water problems. Mount Santa Rosa has been plagued for years by low water pressure. Guam will get $14.9 million for compact impact for 2018. That's the announcement from the Department of the Interior. The $14.9 million is a cut of the $30 million approved by Congress to be shared between Guam, Hawaii, the NMI, and American Samoa to help defray the cost due to increased demands on health, education, social, public sector services, and infrastructure related to such services due to compact impact. Governor Eddie Cavill has requested $6.7 million to go towards school building lease payments and $8.2 million towards offsetting government operational costs. You may have noticed some activity happening in Teton this afternoon. It's part of the Guam National Guard's 94th Civil Support Team Weapons and Mass Destruction and the Guam Fire Department's training exercise. During the simulated exercise, the CST responded to identify chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear hazards. Lieutenant Colonel Mark Hayes is the commander of the Tennessee National Guard's 45th Civil Support Team, also here evaluating the team's the response. The purpose behind this is, is to test the, uh, the, the techniques and processes that are in place, uh, that they're adequate, and the training that the, that the soldiers and airmen of the Civil Support Team receive. Uh, are adequate to determine what harmful products are without putting themselves in harm's way. The exercise is in preparation for an upcoming Pacific Command Training Proficiency Evaluation. United Airlines Mileage Plus Loyalty Program is named the best overall frequent flyer program for the 14th year in a row by Global Traveler Program. According to a news release, United has been recognized every year since the award's inception. The United Mileage Plus card from Chase was also named the best credit card and best credit card rewards program for the sixth consecutive year. The airline's vice president for loyalty says what's especially exciting about these honors is that they are awarded by travelers. Well, sports is next, but first, here's weather. Our wireless data used to drive my family crazy. But now that we've switched to GTA and get all that bonus data, we're spreading the love. You sure you don't mind the wait, honey? Take your time. I'm good. But we're missing the game. Nope. I've got bonus data from GTA. Come and watch. Love it. Get 10 extra gigs of wireless data on every line every month when you bundle. Visit GTA.net for more details. Warm up 
with the new Peking pork. Delicious crisp pork chop bites with hand-cut bell peppers and onions. Walk tossed in a sweet and sour glaze. New at Panda Express, where good fortune smiles. Everyone is a winner with Shell's Holiday Fuel and Win Giveaway. Receive a scratch card with every 7-gallon fuel purchase to win $5 off of your next $30 purchase or $2 off of your next $20 purchase of Shell Fuel or Foodie Store items. Eat, drink, and happy holidays from Shell and Foodies. Only while supplies last. So hurry to your nearest Shell station today for your fuel or foodie scratch card. Some conditions apply. See store for details. We get to walk. Jen. Mark. Wow, it's been a long time. It has. How you been? Good. Really good. Jake, this is Mark. We used to date. Hmm. Hey, Chief. Okay. So easy to dip. See you, man. So hard to put down. It's nice. Rolled chicken tacos are back. Tasty shredded chicken rolled up with your choice of dips. Only at Taco Bell. KUAM Sports is presented by Triple J. What's up, Guam? Dave Delgado here for KUAM Sports. Thanks for watching on the show tonight. Girls high school basketball playoffs, men's hoops from the UOG Cabo Fieldhouse, along with some mini Pacific Games news for you. Check it out. Double I, double AG girls high school basketball semifinals from the St. Paul gym. The Warriors taking on the Royals. And D coming off a win in their last meeting. Nicolette Paris picks off the Haley Sandy pass that was supposed to go to Chloe Miranda. Perez uses her speed to get to the basket and maintains possession after drawing contact for the basket and the foul. Haley Senny finding her spot off the inbound play. No defender, no problem. Senny hits the jumper from the corner. Warriors lead after the first quarter of play. Bree Leon Guerrero with a nice pass to Haley Salas down low for the quick shot off glass. Is the Kanata drives left and dishes the ball off to Chloe Miranda. Miranda gives it up to Haley Senny who draws the double team. Kick out pass back to Miranda. Chloe with the crossover move to get to the rim. Gets the floater to go for the score. A couple of early fouls had ND starters sitting down. Nicolette Perez with that Steph Curry range bangs out the deep ball from way behind the line. The St. Paul Warriors avenge their only loss of the season to the Notre Dame Royals, returning the favor last night on their home court with the 68-43 win to advance to this year's championship game. The Warriors will now face the Academy Cougars in the final set for this Saturday at 7 p.m. at the UOG Calvo Fieldhouse. The Cougars got in after they defeated the Ukudu Bulldogs 52-34. Naya Seguenza with the rebound, putback, foul, and bucket in the win for the Warriors. Keeping with basketball, let's roll on over to the UOG Calvo Fieldhouse for the Triton Basketball League. UOG Tritons taking on Mac Tech Billy Belger with two of his 13 points in the game. Desden Fikes starting to show that he can hit the shot from the outside. Fikes with 21 points, 3 of 8 from downtown. Desden 9 for 22 from the field to go along with 11 rebounds. A.J. Brown working on Fikes here. The big man drives left and gets the reverse lay-in to fall for 2 points. Brown with 22 points in the game, 14 rebounds and 4 assists. Markel Wilkerson setting up on the wing. Steven Yates with the cross-court pass. Wilkerson knocks down the mid-range jumper. The game was tight down the stretch until DiMaggio Simon scored a couple of straight buckets. A.J. Brown on the assist. Simon finished the game with 22 points. Greg Barrera hit for 16 points. 12 of his points came from his outside shooting. Timeout called after he hit this one. The Tritons stay undefeated behind their 99-82 win over Mac Tech. Stephen Yates put up a game-high 25 in the loss. UOG pushing the ball on the turnover. Gio Meneses almost loses possession. Ryan Nagalta trailing, calls for the ball, and takes it to the rack for the finish, just as time expired. Jacinta Sumagese finished with a silver medal at the 10th Pacific Games, held in Port Vila, Vanuatu. She was able to clear all of her lifts in the under 58 kilogram weight division in the snatch for Guam's first medal at the Games. Jacinta cleared 71 kilos for the silver medal after increasing the weight from 66 kilos. Sumagese went on to say, I'm quite happy, but at the same time, bittersweet because of my clean and jerk. But this should help me learn and want more for my future events. Team Guam's next competitor is Judo's Deja Witt, who will be contesting for a medal in the under 52 kilogram category. Well, that's going to do it for sports. We're back right after this.
I had a dream. I walked into a dealership, picked out a new car, gave them no money, and they're letting me drive it for free the next three months. At Nissan Guam, your dream has become a reality during the premier year-end event. For the holidays, you can drive away a new Nissan with no money down and not make a payment for the next three months. It's on the house. No, no money, money down. down. We make your first three payments. Just sign and drive away. For details, stop by Nissan Upper Kumon or log on NissanGuam.com. Say hello to the widest 4G LTE network in the Marianas, Guam, Saipan, Tinian, and Rota. When your passion goes beyond your island, choose a plan that takes you further. With Docomo Pacific's My Plans, you can do a lot throughout the Marianas. 20 gigs for $79 or 30 gigs for $99. All the data you need to connect, share, and make all your ideas happen. Dream big, reach higher with My Plans. Docomo Pacific, better together. All 2017 models must go during Triple J Auto Group's Big Deal 2017 Inventory Blowout. We're making room for our 2018 models. That's right, all-out blowout sale. Thousands off on all 2017 Hondas, Acuras, Fords, Mazdas, Lincolns, Volvos, and Kias. Now is the time to check out the largest selection of brands on Guam. See PD and Post ads for details. Every customer receives a free gift. Stop by today or visit us online at TripleJGuam.com and trade-ins welcome. Some conditions apply. Triple J, 33 years of putting customers first. And before we close out the news tonight, our latest round of birthday shoutouts from the Cold Stone Creamery Birthday Club. Bob Kanata, I would like to wish my youngest brother a happy birthday. May God bless you. Love your sister Carmen, John, and family. Uwa Pablo Mendiola, happy 21st birthday from the family. Tim Perez, happy birthday. Love Michael Joseph and Megan. Remember, you can be a part of the Cold Stone Creamery Birthday Club by registering online on KUAM.com. Please make sure to include with your photo your name and birthday. Well, that's our time, but stay tuned. KUAM News Extra is next. Closed captioning is brought to you by IT&E Life in Motion. Great job, Nick and Crystal, as always. Halfaday, I'm Sabrina salas Matanani. Welcome to Extra. We begin with the Culture Club. Buenas and off day, Bao Sishe Nakti, Isi Otsu Anyuzu, Tato Humata Exu, Babalazu Gilini Gim at Tato Tanu, Aston Frank Rabon, Sinazu Monfu, Manlaski, the Namatinas Custom Samoru, the Pescadozu Loku. When Napati was in the sixth grade, he joined dancing. He says it was only during his freshman year in high school when he started to fall in love with it. And since then, he's been dancing in the cultural show at the Sheraton Laguna Guam Resort. I've been weaving as an apprentice under the uh, Ifafanawi Arthur Pangalina and um, uh, carving, whether it was shells, wood, you know, anything, basic, basically for me, anything that was tomorrow, I wanted to do it to promote and perpetuate our culture. The reason why it was important to Napati was to learn as much as he can about the culture. Our culture is very unique. There's a lot, you know, in our culture. There's a lot that, you know, a lot of people don't know. Myself, I don't know, you know. And up to this day, you know, I'm still, I'm still learning. So for me, the reason why